Hi guys, it's me Dominique from Dominique's Diary. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and checking out today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about some basic rabbit care advice. Now, this video that you're going to be watching was filmed a couple of months ago, and it was originally filmed for work purposes. So I am wearing a work t-shirt in that video. But I thought, why not upload it to my YouTube channel because I know there's gonna be some people that will benefit from this information. If you do like this video, please go ahead and give me some thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you have any questions or any requests, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer you or to upload a video for your request. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Hi, my name is Dominique and I'm going to be talking to you today about caring for rabbits. My rabbits are indoor rabbits and they live in a pen which is six foot by two foot and they are also free range rabbits. So my rabbits have access to be able to free roam around my house. Not everybody has the luxury of being able to allow their rabbits to free range in their home. So if you are going to have rabbits indoors, please make sure that their pen is at least six foot by two foot and that they have lots to do. Rabbits do like a large space. They like to run, jump, and they like to stretch out. All rabbits enclosures must have a food bowl, a water bowl or a water bottle. A litter tray is a good way of litter training rabbits. And in the litter tray, you can have hay. In my rabbit's pen, I have made sure that they have something soft on their feet or something soft for them to lie on. And also in their litter trays, they also have Breeder Select, which is recyclable paper. But I use these in the rabbit's litter tray so that when they are in their tray eating their hay, they will also go to the toilet in that litter tray. And that is just easier for you to clean out. They also need to have toys, something to play with. If you can get things for them to jump on or climb under or tunnels to go through, that is great too. A lot of rabbits also do like to hide in spaces, so a little house would also be fantastic as well. If you are going to house your rabbits indoors, please make sure that you bunny proof your home and make sure that rabbits are not able to access anything that is electrical or anything that they can chew. If they do start to chew things that they shouldn't, you might need to increase the amount of enrichment and toys that they have and also limit where they have access in your home. A rabbit's diet is mainly made up of hay. Hay makes up 80% of a rabbit's diet. Rabbits should always have access to fresh hay. Hay should always be unlimited. Hay is also very good for rabbits because it helps to keep their teeth filed down. Rabbits' teeth never stop growing and hay and grass naturally helps to file down those teeth. Rabbits can also have a handful of pellets as well and I feed my rabbits indoor rabbit pellets. Rabbits can have some fruit and vegetables as well, but please always check that the fruit or vegetable that you would like to feed your rabbit is okay for them to digest. And please make sure that rabbits always have access to fresh water. When you bring a rabbit home, you want to make sure that rabbit feels nice and safe, Rabbits are prey animals, so they do like to feel safe, and sometimes they do prefer to be on the ground. If you would like to try and pick up your rabbit, please make sure you do this safely, and make sure that the rabbit is comfortable with being picked up. When I pick up my rabbits, I always support their shoulders, and then when I scoop them up, I support their back legs and their bum. And that ensures that the rabbit feels nice and secure and safe, and as though it's not going to get dropped on the ground. Please remember, not every rabbit enjoys being picked up. So if you have a rabbit that really does not like to be picked up, try to leave it on the ground as much as possible. Remember, they are prey animals and they might associate being picked up with a predator trying to eat them. When you have a rabbit, there are things that you can do to check to make sure that rabbit is healthy. Making sure that their ears are nice and clean and there's nothing inside there and making sure that their eyes are lovely and bright and there's nothing, no gunk or anything around their eyes. If there is anything in their eyes or anything in their ears, please seek vet attention immediately. When rabbits get ill, they don't like to show this and this is something they do because they are prey animals, they don't want to look vulnerable to a predator. If a rabbit goes off its food or it does not go to the toilet in 24 hours, then please make sure that you take it to a vet 
and seek their advice immediately because they can go downhill really, really quickly. When rabbits are happy and healthy, you will find them exploring, being curious, jumping, going through things, going under things. You might find them binking, which is when they run and twist and jump in the air, or doing something called the bunny 500, where they run rapidly all around the place. Rabbits are social creatures, and therefore they do require to have a friend. As you can see, I have Prince and Lady who are a bonded pair. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope that this helps you. Thank you for watching. Bye.